Hello friends, today we will be looking at AMGM HM inequality. AMGM HM inequality states that if we have n positive real numbers, then their AM will be greater than or equal to their GM, which will be greater than or equal to their HM, and the equality will hold when the numbers will be equal. Today we will be looking at its proof. Before jumping into the proof, I would like to discuss a fact which we will be using in our proof. The fact is, if we have two pair of real numbers and those two pairs have the same sum, then the pair which will have the numbers closer to each other will have the greater product. Let me give you an example. If we have two pairs like 2 and 6 and 3 and 5, as we can see both have the same sum that is 8. But we can also see that 3 and 5 are closer to each other as compared to 2 and 6. So the product of 3 and 5 will be greater than the product of 2 and 6. What's the mathematical proof of it? We can easily prove it by this relation. As we know 4ab is equal to a plus b whole squared minus a minus b whole squared as a plus b is going to be the same in both the cases. So numbers which will be close to each other will have the greater product by this relation. So this fact will be used in our proof. So now let's start the proof. Consider m is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 up till xn divided by n, which is the arithmetic mean, and p is equal to x1 into x2 into x3 up till xn. As we know that arithmetic mean lies somewhere between the numbers, so we can say there will be some numbers which will be less than m and some numbers which will be greater than m. So now without loss of generality, we consider that x1 will be less than m and x2 will be greater than m. Also we consider another set of numbers y1, y2, y3 up till yn such that x1 plus x2 plus x3 up till xn is equal to y1 plus y2 plus y3 up till yn and x3 equal to y3, x4 equals y4, xy equals y5 and xm equals yn. But what about y1 and y2? y1 will be x1 plus k which will be equal to m. What we are doing is we are making sure that we are increasing the val uh, we are increasing the value of x1 up till that value such that it becomes m. As x1 is less than m, we have to add some positive constant to it to make it equal to m, and we name it as y1. And what we do is we subtract the same constant from x2 and name it as y2. By doing that, we have made sure that the sum of y1 plus y2 plus y3 up till yn will be same as x1 plus x2 plus x3 up till xn. Also we have made sure by this diagram we can see that x1 and x2 are changed. x1 is increased by k and it becomes m or y1 and x2 is decreased by the same value k and becomes y2. As we can see x1 and x2 are far apart from each other and y1 and y2 are closer to each other but we also know x1 plus x2 is equal to y1 plus y2 so by that relation that we studied earlier the product of y1 and y2 will be greater than the product of x1 and x2 so let's consider p1 which will be y1 into y2 into y3 up till yn as y1 becomes m and y2 is changed to x2 minus k but we don't need to write it there y3 y4 up till yn as we can say y3 y4 y5 up till yn are same as x3 x4 up till xn so the product will be decided by y1 and y2 as the product of y1 and y2 is greater than the product of x1 and x2 we can say that p1 will be greater than p okay let's move forward Without loss of generality, let's consider y2 is less than m and y3 is greater than m. Again, consider another set of numbers z1, z2, z3 up till zn such that y1 plus y2 plus y3 up till yn is equal to z1 plus z2 plus z3 up till zn and y1 equal to z1 which was initially m and y4 equals z4, y5 equals z5 and yn equals y zn. But what about Z2 and Z3? We do the exact same thing that we did.
we are increasing the value of y2 by some constant k1 to make sure that it becomes equal to m and we name it as z2 and we decrease y3 by the same constant k1 and name it as z3 by this we have made sure that both have the same sum and again we do the same thing we take p2 is z1 into z2 into z3 up to zn and we know that z1 equal to y1 which is equal to m and we have also made sure that z2 equal to y2 plus k1 which is also equal to m and z3 is equal to y3 minus k1 but we don't need to write it there so it becomes equal to m square into z3 into z4 into z5 up till zn as we know the product will be decided by only z2 and z3 as we can see z2 into z3 will be greater than y1 y2 into y3 so the product p2 will be again greater than equal to p1 which will be great which is greater than p so p2 will be greater than p now if we continue this relation up till p n minus 2 we will get m raised to n minus 2 a n minus 1 a n and p n minus 2 will be greater than p now we have just two terms left now again we do the same thing we make another set of final set of numbers b1 b2 b3 up till bn such that a1 plus a2 plus a3 up till an will be equal to b1 plus b2 plus b3 up till bn and a1 equal to b1 equal to m a2 equal to b2 equal to m and so on and a n minus 2 equal to b n minus 2 equal to m now we add some constant to a n minus 1 to make sure it becomes equal to m but as we know the whole sum is equal to n m so to maintain that sum a n will automatically become m as well so what we do is b n minus 1 will be a n minus 1 plus k n minus 2 some constant we are adding to a n minus 1 and it becomes m and we subtract the same constant from a n and it, it, it will automatically equal to it will automatically be equal to m because it has to maintain the same sum and we name it, name it as b n so the final product p n m n minus 1 which will be equal to m raised to n as all the all the numbers will become m and p n minus 1 will be greater than p okay so p n minus 1 is m raised to n so m raised to n will be greater than p let's look at this relation as m is x1 plus x2 plus x3 up till xn upon n whole raised to n will be greater than x1 and to x2 up to x3 up till xn so we can take nth root on both side and we will get our relation which is am greater than or equal to gm and the equality can easily be proved by seeing that if the numbers are equal then am will be equal to gm so we have proved this relation now let's move to gm and hm relation for that what we do is we put xi equal to 1 upon xi in am gm inequality what we do is we put xi equal to 1 upon xi in am gm inequality by doing that we will get this relation and after simplifying this relation we can get something like this after we can see the here that we can take reciprocal on both sides but after taking reciprocal we have to change the sign of inequality after doing that we can see the left hand side is become gm and right hand side has become hm so we have proved gm is greater than or equal to hm hence we have proved that am is greater than or equal to gm which is greater than or equal to hm thanks for watching